Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I want to tell you guys how to get started on your notes and how to sign up for the project. So first of all, I have to go to the project page, the sign up page, which is right here in front of me. Now, as my example, I just made up some names. I put Kurt, Allen, and Doug. Um, so Alex Tomer and Doug Buell are my partners. Pretty cool. Um, but I'm actually going to be writing this by myself. So what I'm going to do is put down my first question. And as you remember, when you go to the packet, it gives you a list of ideas. So I picked the Beer Hall Putsch, which has to do with uh, Adolf Hitler's first attempt to try and take over Germany. It was failed. So I put down the Beer Hall Putsch, and then using some of the question ideas in the packet, I go with, what was the Beer Hall Putsch? Because I need a what, why, and how question. Why did the Beer Hall Putsch happen? And finally, how did the Beer Hall Putsch affect Germany? So, Beer Hall Putsch, by the way, Putsch means violence, small, you know, violence by a f small group of people in German. And then here, I have to write down my essential question. So, my essential question is, what were the reasons for this Beer Hall Putsch? And these three questions here are going to help me answer this question, okay? So, keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to go over here. These are my notes. Now, I've already put some stuff in there, but I'll explain. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my name, right, Kurt Morris. And I put down Social Studies 1, okay? Today is, well, it's not 1028, but I'm doing this a little before that, but still 1028 is the date for this. Beer Hall Putsch is my topic. My overarching question is what were the reasons for the Beer Hall Putsch, Right? Now, I have my first question, right? My first question is, what was the Beer Hall Putsch? So let's pretend I'm doing that one. I'm going to put that right here for my subclaim question. What was the Beer Hall Putsch? Now, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to type in. Now, watch this. I'm going to go, what was the Beer Hall Putsch? And I purposely typed in. In these two brackets, I put four kids. What was the beer hall putsch? Again, quotation or not quotations, but brackets, four kids. Because in parentheses, if you put four kids, these websites will come up that will meet the reader's needs between fourth grade and eighth grade, fourth and eighth grade. Okay? There's even videos here that you can watch about your topic that they pull up. So that's also a good thing. Looks like there's an animated one right here. You can also take notes from a video doing the who, what, where, when, why, and how method. But I'm focusing on these sources. So I picked Academic Kids and I picked Britannica, which I already have pulled up here. So I'm picking these two. And the first thing I'm going to do is go, to, go over readability. And that's what I like about it because I'm using my six vetting uh, uh, points. And my first one's the most important. Am I able to read these words and not have too many problems? Well, in two minutes or less, I am able to read these words pretty good. I didn't know what putsch meant, but it did explain it. Okay, It says a putsch has to do right here. A putsch is what the Germans call a coup d'etat or, or a revolt by a small number of people. I also like this because I thought I could read this pretty easy too. So I understand the words. And then when I read it, the captions here, why, what happened, right, why and what, that's good. It helps me understand the main idea, which is the second part of doing the vetting. And the third part, does it answer my question? Yeah, it does. Both of these answer my question. What was the beer hall putsch? So I'm going to go ahead and use both of these as my sources. Academic kids, if I wanted to know more, I could go down here at the bottom and I could talk more about the home page. Or even here with kids, uh, this part right here, kids kittle, I could go down here and find out more about the kids encyclopedia. But I'm going to use both sources. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy the URL, copy, paste, and then copy and paste the other one. So now I have my two. You can use up to three. I'm just going to use these two because I like them. Okay, the what. So what do I like? Let me go back up here. 
I like this for the what. The Beer Hall Putsch was a failed coup d'etat, which means a small force of violence. I like this, but I also like this next sentence because it really explains it was Hitler's first attempt to take over. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this right here. Okay. Now, why did he do it? I like the why because look at this. <laughs> right here, it goes into it and it explains why he did it. I like this part right here. I think this really explains why he did the Beer Hall Putsch. I'm going to copy this from my second source and put it right here under the why. And then finally down here, how did this happen? How did the Beer Hall Putsch happen? I'm going to go back here. Actually, I have it here. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab the part that I like and I'm going to put it in my notes, because I think it explains it. Where did I find it? Oh, right here. It explains right here what happened. And I'm going to go ahead and in the dark of night right here. I like that. I'm going to copy that. But in copying it, I'm going to put it in my notes. But you know what? When I get down here, I'm going to drop this because I don't know who these guys are. And I really don't want to talk about them. So you can cut this right here. Because I just want to talk about Adolf Hitler. I left it there. I'll cut it down here in my summary. Okay. So what kind of question do I have? I have a what question. So I'm going to write, the Beer Hall Putsch was a failed exercise in force, which is what a putsch means, uh, in Munich, Germany, between the evening of 8 November and in the morning of 9 November 1923. The Nazi party under Adolf Hitler tried to take over the government of Bavaria, a state in Germany. So that explains what it was. The Nazi party was getting strong. Hitler was a strong leader. And in 1923, the year the Weimar Republic was least popular, the Nazi party grew from 6,000 to 55,000 members in that one year. In the darkness, 600 stormtroopers, those are Hitler's private guard, surrounded a beer hall and a machine gun was set up pointing at the front door. And Adolf Hitler burst through the front door at 8.30 and fired a shot into the ceiling and jumped on a chair. That's pretty good. That's awesome, as a matter of fact. That explains everything what the Beer Hall Putsch was. An attempt by Adolf Hitler and his men to take over Germany using that beer hall where the people were inside. Now, my next question would probably give more. Why did this happen? Well, that's where I would answer that down here. And, of course, I would write, why did the Beer Hall Putsch happen. Okay. And just so I can separate it from here and I know what it says, I'm going to make this black. This is for my own personal use. I'm a visual guy and I need to see stuff. So I'm going to make that black like that. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in why did the beer Paul Putsch happen. And once again, I'm leaving it for kids. I'm leaving it up here for kids. So I'm going to get these websites that meet my needs as a reader. And look, I got some of the same ones. But I want to try some other ones. Beer Hall Putsch. Oh, history.com. Love this. Now, this is going to give me more depth on why it happened. Now, I'm not going to take the time to show you the notes on that because I've already showed you how to do the notes on this. And plus, I think you guys kind of know what you're doing. Then, of course, the next part is to, tr is to transfer this part to my Satomer. And you guys will get more on that later. Okay? All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.